Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have a bit of a mystery unboxing. I really have no idea what is in here, so I'm curious and wanted to open it up as soon as I received it. Uh, hopefully it's something watch-related. So let's uh, get this open. Okay. Uh, maybe it's not watch related. Maybe it is. I have no idea. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, watch is on loan from Feynman uh, Timekeepers. This is the Cove. Um, yeah. Wow, that's pretty bad. Um, I do remember talking to him now. It was a while ago. Uh, he did tell me it was coming in. But um, yeah, so very cool. I had in a while ago, I had the, oh geez, I think it was called the Eclipse 1. That had one crown. This has two crowns. And uh, I'll be loaning this out to a couple other guys as well. It's kind of a, a group tour. Yeah, very cool. So let's see, YK101. Swiss movement. So say 200 meter. And then finally, Feynman Timekeepers. Man, I can't believe I uh, kind of forgot about this. This rubber feels real nice. It feels like a, um, I would say it's an FKM rubber strap. I'm not sure if it says what it is on here or not. This is Feynman Timekeepers again. So let me get this on wrist. Gonna roll up my shirt sleeve here. Oh, actually, let's play around with the crowns. So this one is a screw down. They're both screw down crowns. Oh, I saw the bezel moving there, or the um, inner timing bezel, I guess. I do like this nice box dome crystal, but it makes it a little difficult to see that timing ring in there. It looks like a super compressor type watch. And I still do have my Christopher Ward super compressor, so maybe I'll do a comparison between those two. I would say this is more of a dive style watch, though. It's not so easy to see the minute indicators on here. But it's a very cool looking watch. I like that little second hand there that's underneath the inner um, hour track ring. Kind of looks like it's floating in space there. So let's see if I can screw this down without moving the bezel. The timing, yeah. There we go. That sub-second dial, I would expect this to be uh, a hand wind movement, but this is an automatic uh, Swiss movement. No date. Just hacking though. And hand winding as you just saw. Hopefully you can see on the camera here, but the inner dial does have some texture to it. It's a little hard to see with the reflections here. So anyway, let's get this on wrist. Nice uh, milled buckle and tang here. This is a quick release strap. It feels really nice. 
feels much better than even the silicone on the Zen here. I need to order a bunch of uh, FKM rubber straps in different colors and different sizes and try them on different watches. I had a... Uh, I forgot the watch was called. It was a revolver. Skylo, Silo revolver. They had a FKM rubber strap. It felt so nice. So here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. 52 millimeter wristband. I would say this probably has about 48 millimeter lugs on it. Tongue sticking out. I probably put the strap on just a tad bit too tight. But anyway, just a quick look at this. Then we'll uh, zoom out here. Not sure what we'll catch in the background, but that's how it is with my desk here. So let me know what you think of this watch. Uh, big thanks to Feynman for loaning this out. Uh, we'll do a full review in a couple of days here and then send this off to the next guy in the tour here. So as always, thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Greatly appreciate it. And talk to you guys in the next one.